back. We have uh, Bruce Papas here, uh, this uh, segment, a uh, good friend of our channel. So hello to everybody, Bruce. Hello, everybody. How you doing okay. today? Okay, so Bruce is, I mean, if you don't know who Bruce Papas is, he has a huge Lava Bunny channel on YouTube, okay? Make, make sure to check it out. Uh, Bruce does a lot of, uh, so you do uh, a lot of how-to videos and and also what, uh, uh, repair as well. Yeah, that's mostly what I do. I mean, that's most of them you do. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if you have Lava Bunny, most likely you come across uh, Bruce's channel, okay? So today, Bruce is going to explain to us the Flinny technique, okay? Can you tell us about Fleeny technique? Well, there's really, I think, two Fleeny techniques out there that okay. I've seen. Uh, one is a double Fleeny, so uh, yeah. or a Fellini. So the first, you know, you you do your pull, and then you just lift the handle back up, a lever back up, and you do a second pull. Okay. So that's how people try to get over the limitations of the brew chamber on on Lepavonis. Exactly. That's the brew chamber is the problem, right? You don't right. not you don't have enough water into brew chamber to put like one to two ratio or even one to three. Exactly. And the, but is that okay? So post meal is that better than pre meal? Uh, in terms of uh, volume, no. Yeah. No. Because really? the, the volume on the inside, uh, those are my um, John Hauk's videos. Yeah. If you ever look at those. The insides uh, basically have the same, um, have the exact, exact same piston, exact same size chamber. So, okay, so, so we are talking about the water chambers right here. Hopefully, you guys can see that. Right, right, right in here. Yep, that's it's not much. Okay. No. So do, you, do you know exactly how much water going in there? Exact a milliliter? Uh, John measured that at uh -huh. one point in time, as of several other people, but I can't remember it off the top of my head. Okay. Um, I mean, it's the, go ahead. I was going to say, the big difference is when you're looking at these, people think that the post mills, Gen 3s, Gen 4s, mm -hmm. have larger volumes inside yeah. of them because, because the group head is larger. Correct. But basically, there's a sleeve in both the Gen, well, Gen 1s, Gen 3s, and Gen 4s all have a sleeve inside, and there's water that circulates outside the sleeve. So that's all this really is on this extra volume on the top here, with extra mass is really just more water on the outside of the sleeve but once you pull start pulling the lever down you're confined about how much water you have in the brew, brew chamber and that's the same on all generations wow is it is it, i know i know some people do a modification to get extend i mean is that necessary for that or i know some uh, some people change the piston length yeah you can you should well, this really, uh, you pull the, t the lever up as high as it goes on any time. It really doesn't matter for the adjustments for the uh, okay. for the throw, but the throw will get you to push more water out. That's so if, right. the throw is, if the throw doesn't go all the way down on top of the shower screen, uh -huh. then you're leaving water in the pit, in, inside the brew chamber. So okay. that's what the throw is about. Okay, so I mean, for you, I mean, so you do what, mini flinny or double flinny? Yeah, so, I didn't develop this, but I watched a lot of other people yeah. do it. It made a lot of sense. So instead of just pulling the lever up, counting to five, seven, yep. whatever you normally count to, to try to fill the chamber. So what you're trying to do is fill the brew chamber when mm -hmm. you have the lever at the top. Okay. So there's just a certain amount of water that you can put in there that's not saturated in the that's puck. Right. So if you if you just pull at that point, you haven't saturated the puck, you haven't done you haven't got the max amount of water into okay. the machine. So uh, I'll do, I'll show you that. I think I did yep. that once before with you. Um, yep. And so you basically just push it down, wait 10 seconds, give it about a bar of pressure. Okay. And then it'll saturate the puck. And then you lift it back up slowly and refill the brew chamber. So now you've got the max amount of water in, a brew, in the brew chamber. Oh, I'll, okay. Why don't you show me and to show us? And then after that, I'm going to follow you. Okay. How about that? Yeah, you know, let's see what we can get out of here. Yeah. It's a, How many grams are you using today? Uh, I've got a 20 gram basket, but I like using, I like a little bit more headspace, so I'll go 16. Okay. So I think, I, I believe I have a 16 gram basket from IMS, but I think yeah. I'm going to use only 13 gram. Yeah, that really makes sense because you want some headspace. Yep. Uh, 
So okay, so if you're using 16 grain baskets, I mean 20 for 16, I mean, can you fill enough water to get like, uh, what, 32 grams of liquid to come out? Yeah, we'll get 32 out of it. I've got it as high as 40. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, out of this uh, 16 gram or the 20 gram basket. So uh, I'm going to move over to my niche. I've got it. I'm, I'm just guessing. It's been a while since I've uh, dialed this in. This is Good Brothers Coffee. Yeah. Okay. It's a uh, you know from Naples the the Polatoni. Or, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm just saying I'm the I'm using the same coffee as well Neapolitan from Brent. Yeah, Neapolitan. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, so right okay. now my my temperature on my gauge is sixty two yeah. degrees. 62. Okay, so I'm at uh, 80, uh, 87 right now, 87 yeah. Celsius. Well, the big difference between your machine and mine is mine's heavily modded. I have a yep. stainless steel piston, and I also have a stainless steel sleeve in it. That's right. So that's make a big difference, will, right? It will really, um, um, it, it doesn't hold as much heat as yours. Yep. I don't. I don't have a, um, a a bong isolator on here or anything, so that's that would be overkill for this for this machine. Okay, so on my on my machine has a heat sink, and also I have a, a air buster. Yep, and I'm going to try. I haven't. I've got the air buster. It's just been a while since I've got back to this machine with family issues this summer. Yep. Yeah, which you know about. Okay. Uh, if you are joining us right now, I mean, we are talking to Bruce Popups, uh, showing us his uh, Flinny technique this morning. So, I didn't warm up a cup or anything, so okay. it's, it'll be right. It'll be fine. Let's see. Let's get some glass in here. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Can you see there okay? Okay. So, uh, I wonder, can you get close up? Is that possible? Oh, yeah. yeah, let's do that. There we go. That's kind of a, I can lower it too. Let's do that. Okay. I'm just going to make sure my, my monitor is, uh, yeah, there we go. That's it. That looks nice. Okay. So I'm, I'm at 68 degrees right now. So instead of pulling 68, that's really pretty cool. I'm going to heat up my, I'm going to heat up my group head to about 80. I want to get around 84 before I pull my first yep. shot. So let's see what we got. So it's 68, 70, 72 almost, 74. You see that really brought it up, 75? Yep. yep. So, and then I'm going to get rid of any. Um, That's right. And the false pressure. Okay. And I'm at 84, 82 right now, which is pretty good. I'd like to be yep. around 84, but I'll take 80, 83, 84. So I'll take that. Too many things to handle. Okay. Let's see. Let's tear that out. Okay. So I'm at 85 right now, 84. Yep. So that's pretty good. So I'm going to come up. Yep. Uh, slowly. And I'm just going to, so now I'm at the top, so it's starting to fill. Well, this is running fast. Look at that. Boy. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's really fast. Yep. So typically I would have done this, waited yep. 10 seconds, pull back up, refill yep. the chamber. I mean, I'm breathing. This really ran way too fast. Okay. So maybe grind and side too. Yeah, grind side. Cool. Grind side is way too coarse. Yeah. And you've got to go a lot finer on the, on this Good Brother coffee, don't you? I mean, look at that. That I pulled out just from that. I pulled out fifty. Wow. I pulled out fifty-two grams, which is you know way. And there's very little crema in this, but there is actually some. As my rule, I have to taste everything I make. Okay, so you know what? So let me put my shot here, Bruce. Okay. Hold on, I'm gonna get the camera here. Let the camera angle for you guys. Hold on. I'm going to start with, I'm going to grind. So I have a 13 gram ready to go. So let's do that. I've been playing with a Gen 2 DF64. I'm pretty happy yeah, with this so far. That's good, man. 
You don't have to do RDTs anymore. Okay. Oh, uh, do you use any paper, Bruce? I didn't. I used a a, a puck screen on the top. A puck screen on the top. Okay. The really well, the reason that you have to use paper more than even a, a, I'm sure a puck screen is that uh, as you saw, the water gets injected directly into oh, yeah. your brew chamber, and so that's why it looks so violent. Yep. And so if you don't do that, you get a little hole. Always a little hole right where the water is coming in. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's really, on the gym, too. That's why it's really important to use a puck screen or paper. Yeah, I think a Dolting Grime fits well. Yeah. But Dolting Grime is not much coffee, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's not. So you're going to pull out, if you do two to one, you're going to pull out. 26 26 grams so you know i do like to use a uh, paper okay right now my temperature is at 87 okay i'm gonna turn back yeah, on so, here so you're pretty hot still because you want to try to pull at 91 92 especially with and even lower on these um dark roast it's you know because it's you're going to get it that's going to be pretty hot The only way you can cool those down yep. is uh, to use a, a bowl, a small bowl like this, fill it with uh, cool water and cold water, and you put it back up, and you either suck it in or just hold it under the group head. And it'll actually cool down your group head. And okay, that's not right, my right technique. Now, right now, that's I'm at 87 here. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way to the top. Okay. And, ho and hold it for count of 5 to 10. Yep. You don't have to worry about a drip at this point. You saw mine drip way too quick. Yep. Yes, yeah, so I'm not dripping right now, so we are good here. Yep. Got my timer going. Yep. And so come down until you just get about a bar of pressure. I mean, and you have a pressure gauge, so you can do oh, yeah. that. And until you get, and then hold it down until you get your first drip or a yep. first drip or two. There we go. And I'm gonna and I just go all the way back again. Feel yep, that and hold it, the chamber. Hold it, hold it five or ten more seconds. You're yep. really re, you're refilling the brew chamber is what yep. you're doing. And I'm just gonna go down. Yep. So you see you didn't drop as far this time before you had pressure. Yeah, you're gonna get a lot better shot than I did. Man, see, again, see, I'm not getting enough water in the chamber there. So now I got a, a Ristrato. I got uh, about uh, 17 gram right now. Yeah, that's that's but, amazing. But, I mean, look at the beautiful shot, though. <laughs> yeah, that's how it tastes, right? Exactly. So, you know, let's give it a try. But again, I think that's the with this machine is all about the technique. It is. It's all about the technique with a lot of bony there. So hold on, let's give it a try. Th this is it. It's not much. No, that's like liquid gold. That's liquid gold. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, Bruce. Cheers to you. Yeah, mine's. I've lost all my creme already. <laughs> Let's give it a try. That was a lingo. That was that was. <laughs> I mean, this is a uh, kind of like dark chocolate as you get. Okay, it's like dark chocolate, very creamy. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on. I mean, it's just one shot. That's it. You know, I mean, you're not gonna enjoy much. Yeah, that's a pleasure experience here. That's not a caffeine experience. No, exactly. I think you're gonna enjoy the, you know, the kind of like the experience so you know let me ask you is a lot of money pretty practical for the beginners out there uh, i didn't start on a lot of money i've been in terms okay. of making my actually it was first my first espresso espresso machine so yeah uh 
but it, it took a long time to try to master it. To, you never master it, but at least understand it and tame it yeah. and figure out what's going on. Um, I wouldn't probably ever recommend it as a first machine unless you've got somebody who's really into science yeah. and and technique and wanting to you know understand the variables. There's a lot more machines out there that are more friendly. Uh, by the way, you did not... You did not open it right away. I can see well, all the pressure. With your Airbuster, you should be able to. Uh, you know what? I'm doing it right now. You know. It does, but still, it's not, not as bad as before. Before, it's popped. Yeah. But, you know, not as bad. But, again, that, I mean, they're pretty violent when the water is coming down. So, yeah. I mean, as you can see from here, hopefully you guys can see that. I mean, just just so strong. Yeah, well, you saw, you saw mine is not as strong. Let's see your, yours again one more time, Bruce. Yeah. Let's see if I can lower this down a yeah. little bit. Here. Yeah, so, I mean, mine is pretty, I mean, pretty bad, though. Yeah, yours is a lot more gentle. It is. Yeah, because you've got, you know, the entry points are all at the top, or uh -huh. in this case, or just the two or three small holes on the bottom, on the toward the lower portion. So you don't get it, that direct stream into your uh, brew chamber. So so that's the uh, difference between, you said, what, Gen 2 and Gen 3? Yeah, Gen 2 is the only one that where they went to that direct uh, okay. um, injection of hot water into the brew chamber. The rest of them have the swirling effect yeah. around the uh, sleeve oh man so I, I i guess i for my case i gotta do double flinny instead of a mini flinny yeah i watched you do it last night and i just watched you try my technique today and i'd say you have to do what you were doing yeah because i think i gotta come down a little bit and i have to go up again feel the chamber yeah, so I definitely I gotta play with this, uh, play with some more. Uh, I think I can get a nice strata for sure. Right. But if you wanna go with like one to two ratio, uh, I got some work to do. Unless it, I wonder if I got a, a bigger basket. Bigger basket is not gonna help either. It's gonna make it worse. Bigger basket is not gonna help you. No, it's gonna make it worse. Yeah. A lot of people actually don't use 20s, use 16s, and then yep. do 14 like you're doing. Yep. They don't get the, at the bigger baskets. I always thought that I would be able to get more volume, and mm -hmm. I can't. I, you, you get just uh, more coffee, so you get a, it's a little stronger. You okay, know, so you have a deeper bed. Uh, what about the lighter roast? What do you think about lighter roast with a lap of bony? Well, some people have been able to, uh, you have to increase the temperature of the machine so that. Shooting at 92, you want to shoot more like 96. Yep. Then you want to shoot at 90, uh, 92. And so you start higher. You know, my machine, I start around 84 to get it at 91 or 92 when I pull. And so you want, you know, I'd want to start almost closer to 90, yep. uh, 80, 88, 90. And some people say with a hotter temperature, they can actually do light yep. roast. There's a guy in uh, Italy, Osco, who does uh, light roast all the time. He's pretty, he does it pretty well. You know what I mean? The thing is, I'm um, for the, especially with the Gen Two for La Fabone, you don't have to worry about getting too hot. You know, it's gonna be hot anyway. Yep. Well, mine right now because I was playing around with that. You know, yep. show you a few. It's a ninety-eight. Ninety-eight. Even, yep. even, yep. even with all the stuff in here. So that's one of the problems I discovered with my machine. I tried to do the super steam override, yep. which is really makes nice steam, but it heats up the group head. So hot, the second shots are a lot harder to pull unless you wait in between or cool cool down the group head with some you know cold water, ice water, or whatever. Okay, by the how often you grease your piston? Uh, I go once a year. Because right now my piston is it's not as smooth. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mine's pretty good right now still, and I haven't done this since it's been a year since I've done mine. Yeah, man, Ooh. mine is. I mean, yeah, mine mine is pretty. Pretty stiff. Oh, also, I have uh, silicon gaskets in here. You know, the softer gaskets. Okay, I think that's make a big difference as well. It does. Those hard rubber ones, they do tend to, you know, harden quicker than the yep. silicon do. So, 
So again, so I mean, so if you are a lap of user, you want to use every single day, though, don't you agree? To keep you want to use every, 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 every single one? I mean, you should, you need to use every day to kind of like keep the machine going. All the gaskets, you know, you don't want to leave it. You know, you got to, you know, you got to use more often than, you know, once yeah. a month or. Yeah, I've been watching your machine sit back on the chair, so. Oh, yeah. You know, but, <laughs> but I've been using it, though, because if you don't use it, you lose the technique. Yeah. I mean, they're well, such, they're, they're tricky. That's a tricky machine, I'm telling you. I mean, this is not. And have you, uh, no, you saw the James Bond movie, right? I, I know you sent me the link a while back with all the right. Lapamoni, uh, you know, has a Lapamoni machine on all those movies. So which one is your favorite, Bruce? Well, the James Bond? No, no. I mean, which one is your favorite movie <laughs> clip for Lapamoni? Do you have one? <sighs> It's really not a lot of only clip. There's a, a a comedy team from uh, or from Britain, Great Britain, that does. I think it was the guy stands behind the machine mm -hmm. and he starts making. Yeah. And he's you're trying to make a latte art, but he's not. He's stirring it with his hand, yeah. and then he serves it to the woman. She thinks it's wonderful. And I, I always like that one. That's not with the lot of only. Yeah. Um, I don't know which one. It's been a while since I've looked at all those links. Yeah, I couldn't tell you. You know, they got quite a few. So, so you have any uh, project coming up, Bruce? Upcoming projects? I have had downstairs um, uh, my okay. friend's machine. He has a Gen One okay. that blew uh, blew the element, okay. and I have a new one from uh, Gabor in uh, uh, from um, from Eastern Europe, and so I have uh, that to install for him. So I'm going to make a video of that. He's sure. he's a guitar player, so he's going okay. to. Redo my video and put his guitar music in the background, and it should be kind of fun. Hey, by the way, so I mean, if you're thinking about buying a Lapaboni, future Lapaboni owners, what's the like one upgrade that uh, make worthwhile? What is that? What was one upgrade? Well, what's the first thing I did? Uh, well, obviously, you have to do this. You have to do all the gaskets and everything, yep. and get it working. You know, do the maintenance. Um, what do you recommend? One, one thing that I would have done to this machine initially. What's my first thing I did? Um, I, I think the steam wand is probably one of the first things you do. Okay. Go to single steam depth and, okay. instead of the triple, the, the triple hole, go to the single hole. Mm -hmm. uh, because then you can actually start making some fairly decent okay. uh, uh, latte art. Um, I think, in, you know, having a mirror so you can watch. Well, well obviously the the bottomless portafilter yeah. yeah bottomless yeah. portafilter yep a lot of them come with these these days and i think the uh, puck screen makes a you know makes a huge difference sure. um, those are the things i probably do first okay sounds good bruce again thank you so much for joining us this morning Ooh. with your busy yeah, we'll schedule out, we'll figure out your machine yeah i know we will <laughs> we will we're gonna figure it out okay all right bruce okay it's nice Talk seeing you sir. Okay, so that's the Bruce Pappas from Minnesota. Okay. All right, and then make sure to check out the Bruce's uh, website, okay, the YouTube channel. I'm going to put the link down below when we are done with it. All right, guys, okay. I'm going to see you guys. Bye. Okay, nice seeing you. Bye. Bye.